Hey there, good day. In this video, we are going to understand the usage of assert in ChaiJS. So to use the assert in ChaiJS, first we need to include the asset from Chai. And a very simple test uh, can be written as, for example, assert uh, 10 is not equal to 20. And that's all. If we go ahead and run, we can see the test is passed because 10 is not equal to 20. If, but if I change it to equal, the test will fail. And in assets, we can also give a custom assertion failure message. For example, here 10 is not equal to 20. And if I run the test, I can see that the my custom messages are printed. And similarly, we can uh, do assertion for true or failure. For example, I can just say assert true and I run the test, it, uh, okay, I need to change the first test and then I go ahead and run and it passes. So basically assert text talks about either true case or false case. So if something comes up as false, the test will fail and we can uh, give a custom assertion failure messages on it. So we can see that uh, it's being printed over here. Similarly, uh, let me just uh, uh, make it true. Okay. Similarly, there is a function called assert dot is okay. Is okay is also takes similar to assert, but it just checks whether something is true or false. It's very similar to assert. The benefit of is okay is that we can actually check an empty object and see if the if it is okay, I mean if the object is existed, it is here and true. Okay. And if we ch change it over here, uh, it will give me false. Now let me go ahead and change this. And now we will look into usage of assert equal. So I can say assert dot equal. Uh, I will use my uh, object tvar. I will say tvar dot name. And I am checking it with abc. If the contents of name is ABC, it just will pass and it pass. But if I ch uh, check the content of age with ABC, the test fails. And it says that because it expecting ABC, got, expecting 27 got ABC. And so the other thing we can do with this asset dot equal is uh, we can uh, okay, let me just go ahead and create a constructor function called my object and I'll just return object from this constructor function. I will just do values, uh, integer value, one is value say 100 and then axis say it's uh, 20. Okay, and I'll go ahead and create object of uh, this uh, my obj. So I'll say let uh, this uh, T1 equal to new my obj and have this T2 equal to also my obj, new my obj. So if I want to check the equality, if I use asset dot equal and check the equality of T1 and T2, uh, I my test will fail because of course T1 and T2 as an entity is not equal. But if I want to check the content, I can use deep equal. So deep equal checks the value of the object. And in here it will say the tests are passed because deep equal means both the object contains the same value. In case I change one of the value axis value of T2 to something else and I then run the test, it fails and it actually tells where uh, where it actually fails. So let me uh, remove this. Uh, there are other assert functions which we can use like each object is just to check whether something is object or not. So for example, this will be true. And if I change this object over here to let's say string uh, str, it will fail. Okay, and let me go back and change it to object. And similarly, there is a, another asset function called is string. Uh, just like is object, it checks the validity of something is a string or not over here. Similarly, there is asset dot is array. I'll just create an empty array over here. 
and see if check the validity and it it's passes so that's the way um, these things have been are, are used there are another version of checking a type of something so some object or string it's called assert the type of let's say for example of this is empty object as object and this test should pass and it passes similarly i can change the type to for example a string and a string is not a object so test will fail and i can change the type to string uh, before that i can also have a can have a custom or uh, assertion failure messages and you can see that when i run the code i can see my custom messages over here and let me just change it back to object i can take asset or type of for a string and i'll say if it is a string pass and the test should pass yes it passes so that's the way its uh, assets are being used uh, so thanks a lot thanks for watching